Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a video review on the Pericone MD makeup line. This is a makeup line created by a Dr. Pericone. He's like a dermatologist and he does skincare and within that skincare line he's created a makeup line. I was really intrigued by the products, mostly firstly by their like minimalist style packaging. I first saw them in store at Mecca Cosmetica and you'll notice that the title of the products is you know, no foundation, foundation, no highlighter, highlighter, and so on and so forth. They have no mascara, mascara, and a lot of different products. So I bought as much as I could that Mecca had in stock. And I'm pretty much just going to put it on. I've been using these for like two weeks now, and I have to say I've been putting them on every single day. So I personally really like them. They're pretty expensive though. Like on the Pericone website, for example, this foundation retails for $60, and then in Australia it's $88, and it's a pretty small bottle. So I'm just going to do a look on how I do my makeup every day with the Pericone products and we'll start out with the foundation. So about an hour ago I moisturized my face with my Dr. Spiller products. I use the shade 5. There were not many shades by the way. Normally to get my foundation a bit deeper I mix it with the bronzer but I won't do that today just so you can see how the foundation works on its own. The foundation has a dripper. I find the cap gets pretty messy but you meant to shake it all up. I do a little drop on each part of my face and then wherever I need more coverage I usually just add more. The directions say to shake and then apply a few drops to your palm, three to four drops, and then rub it over your face but I don't like to apply it like for my palm personally like I don't know they kind of get sweaty there so just rubbing it in with my fingers it's a very sheer coverage. It almost looks like there's no coverage, like you can't detect any foundation or any product on the skin, but it really evens out the whole look. Once it's all on, I like to pat it in because I find sometimes that I can get streaks from, from any foundation, not just from this foundation, if I use swiping emissions. And I like this foundation because it doesn't provide much coverage, so my brow tattoo still shows through. Normally, thicker and full coverage foundations hide my brow tattoos. So I usually don't put anything on them except for some brow gel, so I'm going to do that, but this isn't by the same brand, so it's just like a tinted gel from Givenchy. Honestly, sometimes that's all I need. The only things that I care about on my face are my skin, and this gets it to the stage where I'm totally happy with, and my eyebrows. So normally you don't even really need anything on my eyebrows, but I just like them to look polished if I have a few minutes. So the next product that I would go in with is the bronzer. This is the No Bronzer Bronzer. Just putting a couple drops on my fingers. Now, the first time I used this, I accidentally applied too much. This has like quite a lot of pigment. So I've just got it on there and then I'll pat it into my cheeks and work the rest up into my forehead, but just the edges where the sun would naturally hit. And he says to pat it in, so I have to resist the swiping. Bring it down a little bit further because like I said, my body is tanned and then my face isn't. So I'm trying to just make the whole foundation look a bit darker. Next is the blush. The blush, however, has a little doe foot applicator. You could probably use it on your lips too. Again, you only need a very small amount because it's quite pigmented. I'm just going to pat that in. Love that. So this is the No Concealer Concealer. It looks like a mascara tube. I like to put a bit here and here. And then some dots there. It's a really nice concealer. I love it for my under eyes. It's pretty hopeless if you're trying to cover like pimples or something. So next will be the highlighter. As you can see as I turn the bottle hopefully. It's really pretty. It's like a very true pearl color. It looks exactly like a pearl. Again, this one's in a doe foot. Just apply a bit here. This is pretty liquidy. So I try to just put like a very sheer amount on. The 
I have a no eyeshadow eyeshadow as well, but I didn't see that in store when I went to buy this stuff. I'm just going to pat that in. So pretty. Absolutely love it. Now the last product that I got is the No Mascara Mascara. And I love this mascara because I find that, you probably won't see this immediately, but I find that it perfectly curls my lashes at the end. And if you look at my lashes, I don't know if you can see, they're not too bad, but they're kind of straight at the ends. This mascara is a very dark color. I don't think it's black. Um, I'll, I'll zoom in even further so you can see. It's got a very spiky brush. And they have long spikes and short spikes. I just kind of go wherever. It's not too dramatic. It's very lengthening. I personally love it. And even if I'm not wearing the rest of my Pericone stuff, I've been using this. So to clean up my eyelid. Now, I didn't get any of their lip products, so I'm going to leave it at that, but I love the skin product. Next, I'm definitely going to get the lip product, the eyeshadow, and hopefully they've got some brow stuff because that would complete me. I really like this line. If you look at this, the foundation has SPF 30. So does the blush, the highlighter. Oh no, the highlighter doesn't. The blush and bronzer also have SPF, so it's perfect for a beach day or time that you spend outdoors. Also, I really think it's great for the gym because it's skincare as well as makeup, so if you want a very nice natural glow without wearing heaps of makeup to the gym, I think it's a really good idea. So, I give it a thumbs up. I've been trying this out for two weeks now. I can honestly say it wears really well on my skin. I absolutely adore it. It doesn't wear as long as like a matte 24 hour foundation, but it doesn't claim that so I'm not holding it against it. I love this makeup a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you think in the comments.